So my name is Paul Mungai. I'm not working on with an organization working on open data, but I am a PhD candidate at the University of Cape Town, um, researching on open data institutionalization. Um, I come from Kenya, and uh, my research is um, focused on the Kenyan context. The issue is not so much of what data I would want published more. I think it's more of asking ourselves what data do citizens want? Because we have released a substantial amount of data, but it's not being used yet. So we need to ask ourselves why are we why is the uptake that low? Um, number one and number uh, number two and number three is resources. So we have not had uh, sustainable resources, and with this, I'm talking about um, individuals who are committed um, and who are funded full time to work on open data. Even from the government agencies' perspective, like we have uh, people working on open data in key government agencies. Um, think about Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, think about the ICT Authority, um, think about the Ministry of Communication. Um, we are having, um, there's a big slack and there's a big gap and that perhaps um, is to explain why we don't have much demand because no one is focusing on the key data sets. Yeah. So. The one message I think we need to engage with citizens more and try to create awareness but more important we need to focus on intermediary intermediaries uh, by intermediaries I mean people who are going to help in converting this data to useful information whatever data is out there we can try to create um, examples practical examples one good example is nation media group in Kenya they have been um, running a column every week called Newsplex and it has been having great impact. So it's more of uh, data-driven journalism. Um, that's a very good effort and perhaps we need to see more of um, the, the media houses taking this up and perhaps even the research community. Mm -hmm.